uh, collaboration for us uh, has led us to a partnership uh, with a provider, uh, Box.net. Uh, Box is a file sharing service uh, that will allow our community to easily share files within a discipline, within a community, across disciplines, and across institutions. With every subscriber, you'll be able to bring this to your, uh, your community and your campuses. Uh, the Box service uh, is a, um, oh, excuse me, I leaned on the clicker here. Uh, the Box service is a, uh, a really exciting offering in great part because uh, it isn't just the commercial product. Uh, we didn't just uh, talk with one vendor or one provider, we talked with many. And uh, Box was the vendor and the provider that understood our community. Uh, we talk about being a member, uh, that's a big uh, statement. A member means part of this community, and, and I'm very pleased to see, say that Box understood this from the beginning and has helped us to develop a custom offering that's their base offering and then uh, tuned to provide uh, for our community, including full identity integration. So we will be able to use in common Shibboleth and pass through credentials, and you'll be able to log into the Box services directly from your campus using your credentials and share not only within your community, but anybody outside of our community. Uh, it, it's going to be really a, an exciting time and something that I think will enable us to really uh, begin to, to stretch the boundaries of how we can bring people together from all of our institutions without having to work so hard at it. We all know that everybody wants to move in internet speeds today, and it has been said that IT tends to get in the way. Well, here's an example where we're, we're going to get out of the way, and we're going to let you all have access to these services. Uh, so please join me in uh, thanking and welcoming uh, the Chief Operating Officer of Box.net, Dan Levin. Thank you very much, Shell. Thanks, Dan. I'm really delighted to be here today. Box was founded a little over five years ago by a couple of guys who couldn't operate a clicker uh, by two undergrads, one at USC and one at Duke, who had known each other in high school and were frustrated by the fact that they were not able to collaborate across the country in the way that they had assumed they should be able to. Now, of course, collaboration for undergrads in those days as now is probably mostly about music and photographs and videos, but the problem remains we live in an extremely connected and collaborative world. A good friend of mine is an archaeologist at Stanford. He's running a program with the University of Durham to dig on Hadrian's Wall. The collaboration and coordination and planning of the, not only the dig itself, but all the analysis of the material that is collected in the dig is a huge project and one that requires many professionals from around the world to work together. Whether it's that kind of situation or two astrophysicists sharing uh, a large piece of equipment like the Hubble Space Telescope or geneticists working on a genomics project that need to be able to share information, we need easy tools to do that. And Box, frankly, had been struggling a little bit uh, to deal effectively with academia when I happened into Shell on uh, a very nice spring morning and he started talking about groupers and other large fish and some kind of biblical shibboleth thing, and I didn't know what was really going on, but it was pretty clear that if we could ever figure out how to do something with Internet 2, it would give us a way to give back to the community that had really directly spawned Box in the first place. We have seven million users around the world, but we had not been successful in delivering a great solution to the academic community, and we're really delighted to be working with the Internet 2 team to do that today. I have a very short video to show you, which will give you a quick idea of what Box is and how it might be used. And I want to thank you all for allowing us to join your community and be part of today's activities. If I keep pressing this, something's going to happen. Right? Too many presses. Oh. Somebody else has taken command. Excellent. Meet Jim. Jim has an idea. The files he's created are too big to send through email. And he doesn't want to use a thumb drive or burn a CD. Box.net can help. Box.net makes it simple to store all your files online and easily share them with friends or coworkers. 
With Box.net, he can upload all of his files to an online folder and then invite others to collaborate. Jim's friends can add comments, start a discussion, even create or upload new files. And unlike email, Box.net lets Jim know when his files have been downloaded. Now that Jim's files are stored securely online, he can access them from any computer and any mobile phone, making Jim a happy person. Box.net, because sharing should be simple. Learn more at www.box.net. So, uh, many of you uh, already have Box.net accounts. Uh, we started this project uh, and are working with uh, early adopter campuses, um, Michigan, Indiana, uh, Cornell, Notre Dame, Berkeley, and others, uh, so that we can really partner with Box to make sure we get the service configured uh, and provisioned the way uh, that we need it to be. When we uh, began talking about putting that traffic over our network, and of course that's something we know a lot about, we were able to uh, get the, the peering set up and turn that link on, and immediately there was 100 megs of sustained traffic bursting up to half a gig of sustained traffic, and we thought, wow, I, I don't think the pilot teams are doing that. Uh, it's because all your campuses are already using Box, individually, all over the place. What this is going to do for us instead is allow each campus to subscribe at an incredible price to provide the entire community, students, faculty, and staff, provisioned with this service all at once. So when a campus goes live, uh, you'll be able to, to demonstrate incredible value. The use cases coming out of the early adopter teams are going to be discussed uh, this afternoon. We have a session here at uh, 1.15 to talk more about NetPlus services. And then uh, later this afternoon at 4.30, uh, there's a full demonstration of the box service uh, that uh, is going to occur. Now, that is not the box uh, uh, service is not in your program. Uh, do we have the, the room number for that? It's on the uh, we did get it on there. So we, we, make sure you jot down the room number if you want to come find out more, and we'll have information sheets uh, and whatnot available uh, for you. The early adopter phase is intended to finish uh, at the uh, end of this quarter. So uh, by December, we should be wrapping up and having the tuning done with Box, and we'll open this uh, up to the broader Internet 2 community uh, beginning in 2012. Uh, you will need to be members of Internet 2 and in common to be able to take advantage of this full service. So if you've been uh, contemplating when you're going to get your in common application finished, you've got 90 days to, to speed that process up so that you can then take advantage of this. Uh, so with that, I'll turn it back over to Jerry, and we'll talk about our, our next project. Thank you. <laughs>